Welcome back to Daily Flash. Our next guest is singer Chris Ruggiero. He's known for performing hits from the golden age of rock and roll, and Chris is performing next week in Las Vegas. Chris, welcome to Daily Flash. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How are you? Very good. So tell us, you started your career singing. How did it get going? What motivated you to go down this path? So, you know, I've got to tell you, first of all, I really never knew that I could sing, you know, um, until I guess I was about 17. Uh, a friend of mine came over to me and told me that there was this production company looking for singers to sing the older classics. And so I sent in a video of myself singing to this company. And a few days later, I got a phone call from a man named TJ Lubinsky, who invited me to come down to Asbury Park, New Jersey. And I did that. My parents and I drove down to Asbury Park. It was the dead of winter. And we pull up to this big, beautiful theater. And there were cameras all over the place. I've never seen so many in my entire life. And uh, what I didn't know was they, they were filming a nationally televised PBS special. And what they didn't know was that I had never sung on stage before with live band in my entire oh life. My but the, Yeah, but I held my head high and I just walked in and pretended like I knew what I was doing. And then after this whole uh, special aired, I started getting phone calls to do more and more shows. And uh, it wasn't until a few years after that that I decided to do this full time. But this is what I love to do, and ever since I've been singing. Chris, I'm just taking a peek at what's behind you, and most of those artists could be your great-great-grandparents. <laughs> talk, Walk me through a little bit of that wall of fame that you've got behind you. Sure. Well, I don't know if they could be my great-great-grandparents, but uh, <laughs> maybe parents and grandparents, but I, I definitely feel like um, they've become family because... Pretty much everyone that's on the wall behind me, except for a couple, of course, um, I've worked with. I've had the pleasure of sharing the same stage with, like Bobby Rydell, Jane the Americans, uh, the Drifters, uh, Bill Medley. And uh, they've kind of been mentors for me over the last few years. And, and that really means a lot to me because they've really shown me the ropes and they've just they've been so wonderful to me. And I'm so happy to say that they're a part of my life and a part of my family now. Chris, what is it about the older music that you love so much? Well, you know what it is? It's the sentimentality of the music from back then. And they're songs that are timeless because they're about timeless meanings, like uh, love and falling in love and wanting to be in love. Those are things that, you know, they just, they never go out of style, you know? So that's why I love that stuff so much. And the melodies are beautiful and just the meanings of the songs. We're taking a look at some of the video here of you performing on stage. Tell us about your show next week in Las Vegas. Well, I'm really excited for this show in particular because um, I'm actually opening uh, this showroom of theirs. They've kind of reimagined it. it. It was a lounge before, and now it's another one of their showrooms. It's called the Grandview Lounge. So I will be there opening the room for them. Uh, I'm really excited about it. It's a great room. It's got really cool video walls, and the, the lighting is perfect. And uh, I think it's going to have kind of like an old Copacabana feel which I'm really looking forward to because as you know, I'm old school. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and I'll be singing songs that everyone knows and loves. Songs like Can't Take My Eyes Off You, Unchained Melody, and, uh, and so many more. Do you have a favorite that you love to sing? Everybody asks me that. I, I gotta tell you, the favorite changes every day. Uh, but, but one of my new favorites is uh, Betcha by Golly Wow. And it has been for the last year or two. It's just, uh, it's a beautiful song, and the reason I love it so much is because it tells a wonderful story about love, and I'm a lover at heart. And you really are a storyteller when you think about it, when you're up on stage singing these songs. How does it make you feel that, that an older de generation is just absolutely enamored with you? Oh, I, I love it. I absolutely love it, and I embrace it 100%. You know, when, you know, when I was a little kid, I was always at the table with the adults. The kids were playing and I would hang out with the adults. So I was always attracted to people who were a little more mature than me. But a lot of people like to say that I've been here before and I'm a, a 80 year old in a 24 year old's body. So <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I got to ask you, Chris, what do your parents think of all of this? Uh, they love it. Uh, they grew up on a lot of the music I sing and a lot of the songs I sing actually came before their time. But like I said, the music's timeless and it really doesn't matter how old you are. You can be 20 or 90 and know and love this stuff 
just as much as anyone. Now, now tell me, there's you don't listen to oldies all the time. Is there anything new that you're listening to? Oh yeah, well I have I have a lot of uh, people I love, you know, who sing today too. I, I'm a big Bruno Mars fan. I think he's great. Uh, I love Harry Styles. I think he's great. Not only is he a great singer, but just he's a beautiful person. And I, I love watching a lot of the stuff that he does. So um, they inspire me a lot as well. But most of the time, I do listen to music of the past. <laughs> well, it's terrific, Chris. We wish you all the best. If you'd like more information on Chris's Thank tour you. schedule, please visit chrisruggierosings.com. He'll also be performing in Las Vegas next week, and it will be spectacular at the South Point Casino in that new Grand View Lounge. Chris, thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Nice meeting you. ChrisRuggieroSings.com. We'll back. We're back right after this.